Welcome back guys, you might remember from the other video that I now have three sets of headlights. So, today I will be changing the ones that are in the car at the moment because they're the basic ones that don't have fog lights. I'll be putting the ones with fog lights in first and then I'll be upgrading the headlight with some LED main beam bulbs. Won't be sticking my two indicators in at the moment because um, I want to make them black. So they're not going in just yet, they're going to be like a, a later project. But at the moment I want to get these bad boys sticking in and get my fog lights up and running and working. So let's go and take a look at what actually hold them in. So you can see on this headlight unit here, the bolt at the top, bolt at the top, and then one there and one there. So four screws or bolts, whatever you want to call them. This one, I'm missing the bracket there because it's snapped. Missing the bolt there. Has got a bolt, has got the two bolts in at the bottom. So it's got two out of the four holding it. So let's get these off. I never thought I'd ever have so much choice of headlights. Three different types of headlights there. So that's the standard one we've took out that doesn't have a fog light. The one that does have a fog light. And these don't have a fog light but they have two indicators. And they're apparently called two indicators. So at the moment these are the ones that's going to be going in. So I need to compare the bulbs that are in it against the bulbs that came out of that one. Um, and I've got some upgrade bulbs for these as well. So these are the bulbs I've been sent, uh, or I've got LED headlight C6S all in one compact design. And these are what they are. And they look pretty compact to be fair, but they're still pretty chunky. So they're going to stick out a bit, so I won't be able to have the back of these on unless I had um, a hole cut in them. So for now, I'll put them back on without the back, and we can see what they look like on the car. But first, we need to fit the bulb, and to do so, we need to remove the other one. And to do that, we pull the plug off the back of the bulb. When it wants to... Come on, it's coming. Well, I'll tell you what, pulling that plug off was a pain in the ass, right? Trying to do that at the side of the road if you were fixing your own bulb would have been a nightmare. Because you just want to have had the room. So there's the normal headlight bulb that we'll put over there, out of the way. This is the one that's going to go in in its place. I believe that way around. And then that plug goes into that plug. So I'm going to do that now. So the bulb's in, and it's got its holder holding it in as well. What I had to do is take the holder off, thread it over the bulb, and then push the bulb in, and then actually lock it in place. But it's in there tight now. Um, so I want to put this one on the car, and let's have a look what it looks like. So we'll put the ignition on. Side lights, main lights. <clears throat> That's not a good start. Maybe I've put the connection in the wrong way around with it being an LED. I'll turn them off, swip it round, and then have a look again. There you go. Big difference. Don't know how good the actual beam pattern is going to be. Um, the colour of it looks brilliant. Wow, it's really bright when you freaking put the camera into it. You compare it against the one over there. Yellow and white, isn't it? You know, that's lovely and white, it's a lovely colour. That's just your normal dingy yellow. So, I'm going to get this headlight mounted up and get that one swapped over. It's a little bit hard to tell during the day, but they've both been changed. Very bright. And very bright, might I add. I have also changed the bulb for that side light there because it wasn't working on the last headlight. Or was it working on the last headlight? No, it was. It was working on that one. So I took it off that side to put it into that one, and it ain't working. So I don't know if I've got a fuse out or what. I just need to bolt these headlights in now. But the colour of them looks a lot better, that's for sure. So that's them bulbs fitted for now, until I can adjust the back covers and make them seal and be better. If you look at the back of these ones, these have had a hole cut out. Maybe for them sort of lights, maybe for HIDs, I don't really know. But I'm going to have to do that sort of thing, or just steal the covers off of that and put them on onto the backs of them ones, you know. Um, but yeah, they, they look loads better. 
I'm very happy with them bulbs. I'll put a link for them. Ah, it's bright. It's bright. I can't see. I'll put a link for them bulbs uh, down in the description so you can grab your own if you want. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video of how to fit these um, LED headlights. And obviously we've upgraded our headlights and put, you can't even see them, put the fog lights back in. So, that was a win-win. Thank you very much guys, thank you for watching, I will see you in the next part of the project shed. Um, thanks guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video soon. Remember to click up here to subscribe to the channel to see more good videos. And click down here somewhere for the next video. Peace.